Welcome to Amber Falls Winery and Cellars. 794 Ridgetop, Hampshire, Tennessee. Yes, here we are. During the middle of the pandemic coronavirus crisis and they are opening Tennessee responsibly. It is after hours here, but I'm going to show you a little bit about Amber Falls Winery and Cellars. And the reason they say cellars here is it really is in a cellar. Hello again, everyone, for another edition of Rod's Random Reviews. And here we are on the Tennessee Wine Trail. The uh, vineyards here at... Uh, on the Tennessee Wine Trail is uh, hurting as a result of the early frost they had this year. Here we are in May, but um, um, just thought I would give you a quick review here. On the Tennessee Wine Trail, just outside of Columbia, Tennessee, in uh, Hampshire, um, Hampshire, Tennessee. And here's the guest house. I guess you can uh, rent that cottage, perhaps. The wine tasting room is on up ahead. This is a member of the Harvest Host. Those of you that follow uh, RV Lifestyle and others know that Harvest Host is an area where you can bring your RV and uh, boondock for the night. It's very, very quiet, very, very lovely here at uh, Amberley Falls Winery on the Tennessee Wine Trail. So there's the water house and uh, one of the red barns where they some of the wine making goes on. The tasting room is a little farther down the down the road. Uh, very nice, very quiet on the Tennessee rolling hills here in central Tennessee. There we are in our Winnebago view. Just had it serviced at the Nashville um, Mercedes Benz. And they did a fine job there in Nashville at the Nashville Mercedes Benz. Walk here at Amber Falls Winery in middle Tennessee, the winery and tasting room is just ahead. Uh, we've already visited the winery and tasting room. I think it closes at 6 p.m. perhaps through the week, maybe 8 p.m. on weekends, but uh, we're on the Tennessee uh, Natchez Trace wine trail. So very lovely vineyard here. The vineyards are not doing too well this spring, but uh, they'll come around. They'll come around. So here we are. Okay, we're approaching the winery and tasting room. And uh, you can see here that it's after hours. And uh, this is a Thursday night. Typically, I think on Friday, Saturday, and sometimes on Sunday, they have live music. But we're right here in the mid middle of uh, the coronavirus, so there's not as much activity going on. Now, this is Amber Falls, of course. There you go. They're not wanting you to bring beer in here, apparently. Yep, you got to have your only your Amber Falls wines here at the winery and tasting room. One of the interesting things about this winery, and a little bit different from some of the other ones I've went to, is the tasting room is actually down in a cellar. It's in the basement of this facility you see here so it's literally in a wine cellar down below and it's uh, like I said very quaint very nice and uh, the proprietor here is uh, is very nice as well so uh, I'm gonna leave it with you this is kind of where the uh, wine club meets apparently on occasion and uh, oh yeah one of the things they have here which is interesting is a wine teaser and uh, so they have some wine that they mix here with their um, uh, a black tea 
wasn't it? A black tea? Yeah, black tea. And, uh, and it, you know, the peach wine blended with uh, black tea, and it's almost, you can kind of drink it like a, uh, like a beer or something. So they put it in a can, and um, it's, a, uh, it's a big seller here, apparently. You can either purchase it in a growler, or you can purchase it in, uh, I believe it was 16 ounce cans, the wine teaser. All right, here's where they have the live music. And uh, we're talking about Amber Falls, Falls Winery here in Hampshire, Hampshire, um, Tennessee. Very quiet. Harvest host location. If you're in your RV, good opportunity to spend a quiet evening in your RV for free. Bye now.